<laughs> Growth happens quickest when you step outside your comfort zone. This applies to both your professional and personal life. So it's quite important to find ways to step outside of it on a regular basis. So if you're scared to take some actions or afraid to leave your comfort zone, then this is for you. This is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. Number one, do small daily activities that you normally wouldn't do. Take small actions in those activities in which you wouldn't want to step out of your comfort zone. So, for example, you can start a conversation with a stranger in a grocery store or perhaps begin to read a new book that you want. And that actually applies to me. Because at times, when only people talk about, oh, I read this, I read that, I'm like, I wish I can. So if I want to really step out, because I, I say I prefer that thing that you want me to read, just put it in the movie and I'll watch it. But reading really, I think it's something. So just step outside your comfort zone and you can see that you really love it, whatever it is that you yeah, decide to do. I actually loved doing that this weekend. It was my first time paintballing. Yeah, and that's cool too. That was an interesting sport. But if you're going paintballing, make sure the people you're going with are not ruffians. Because if they shoot you at close range, like, you'll be scared yeah, for life. Yeah. You wear yellow. No sabi, no sabi. <laughs> uh, I also want to learn how to DJ, though. To DJ? Yeah, yeah sure. A friend was teaching me. Stepping out of what you do regularly. And yeah. You will love it and enjoy it. That works. Nice. I can't imagine you as a DJ. Mm. What would be your DJ name? DJ... Give me a name. Give LC. me a name. Think about uh, DJ it. Kitty Kata. <laughs> we want Kata this place. <laughs> DJ Kitty Kata. No, 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 DJ Kit Kata. No, don't do Kit Kata. No, go. <laughs> Kitty Kata. You DJ just Kitty want to that like DJ YK Mule. Ah. <laughs> wow. All right, all right. Okay, second up is change your usual habits to mix it up. Mm. Change your habits and mix them up in a different way. Mm. Let's say you go to the office or your business the same way. Try a different route. Mm -hmm. If you also drink coffee from the same coffee shop or you take a particular brand, try another one. The goal is to try something new because even small changes can enrich your life. This is very true. Uh, so I learned some recipes. There was this uh, weekend that was like uh, during lockdown when they just lifted the ban. So I was home and I wanted to try different things. So I just went online, was looking at recipes and bought some things. And the first time I tried afang, I didn't do it well because I didn't know I was supposed to <laughs> do that, found it and all of that. But the next time I tried it, it was good. So try new things and it will work for you. Trust me, you'd love it. I like, I like, I like the route one that you talked about. Like, I'm that person that, okay, bless you, I don't pass this place today, tomorrow uh, I pass this place. Ma, take another size. What's it happening? Your, your, your village people, they monitor you. Know you. Make people look at you. As in, your it's village just, people, they monitor you. It's just me you. trying new things. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know if it applies, but I do that with my hair. So I get mm. bored of a particular look. Oh, she's refreshing. Yeah, you know what it is. Big J. Call me, man. Call me. So what are you doing next? What are you doing next? I feel those vest cuts this year. Eh, like your twin here, Abby. It's try new things. Yeah, try what? new things. Yeah. I'll just go skiing. OK. Yeah, yeah, your twin go resemble now. That doesn't sound right, right? Either. OK, so moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three on our list. Turn every day into a learning experience. Look at each uh, day for you as a chance to learn something new. Remember, this can only happen if you step out of your comfort zone. So focus on one thing at a time. Try to share useful information from time to time. You never know what you will learn about the world when you explore different sides of it. Yes, we learn every day. We learn new things every day. I learn from even my nine-year-old niece. And sometimes I think people should learn to, to be open to learning from yeah, people, true. no matter their age. True. And they should also share ideas. Because that idea they share might be something that someone has been looking for to piece together. Yeah. So you might just be their breakthrough. You might just be that eye opener for them. I mean, this has happened to me about twice last month. I was upset that day. Then the next thing, a little child just walked up to me. Aww. I was joking and playing around with Aww. him. This so child cute. was oblivious of the fact that I was not in the mood. Yeah. But then I looked at it and I was like... Changed the mood, yeah. Life is easy. Mm -hmm. Very at easy. At the end of the day, so I learned from the child. And it happened twice, so that's cool. Even Toke Makima did a video now. She said, children, don't grow up, oh. Enjoy <laughs> your childhood, though. I call Toke inside this matter, huh? All right. Uh, <laughs> number four, pick activities that challenge you. Ha! Think about a few things that scare you or make you nervous. Make a list of those activities and start from the next one. Mm. 
you know that taking action is better than just thinking, right? Mm. Make a list. It could be skydiving. Mm. We can't do much of that in Nigeria, <laughs> though. <laughs> right? Go on a blind date, mm. ETC. Just do stuff that you know will challenge you. If I want to go <laughs> zip lining, and I heard they do it uh, somewhere in Abuja. Mm. So I have that <laughs> on my bucket list. <laughs> I know but I'm scared Nigeria, to do it in Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria. because <laughs> if the line should zip you... Have they paid those people where they're going to zip line If they're the line should the zip one. you, you'll be like full of lead. Yeah, I, I, I have the mindset of doing skydiving and do all of those yeah. um, heart pumping um, games, but yeah. <clears throat> not here. I feel like if I do skydiving, my life would change. Yeah, not here. <laughs> The easiest one to do here is just go-karting. Yeah. Just to, yeah, go karting. Yeah. Oh, God, there was that place on the island that was doing go-karting. Yeah. yeah. The, no day again. No day. Nigeria. Mm. Nigeria. <laughs> Wrapping up Delhi Top 5, break the activity down into small steps. You don't have to do the activity all at once. You just break your goal into smaller chunks so it will become easy to accomplish. If you want to learn to swim, first you go the shallow water and gradually you overcome your fear and then you can go to the deepest level of water easily. That's an example. Yeah, so just start small, gradually, gradually. Can you swim? I don't think I can. I can't swim because I had a scare when I was in school. I saw like two people drown. Oh. So, because when I was a kid, I used to swim. But ever since That's that day, it. unconsciously, if I enter water, I can't float. Yeah. Just but if you give me a floater, I can swim to even... Yeah. My swimming pool is wasting. Yeah, so this, this, apply, this applies to everybody too. Um, you can just start small and gradually, gradually, you are complete. You just get pulled when they waste. Bro, it does a waste. How does it look at? Oh, it's clean today. All right. But you can skin it deep now. Just sit by the I pool and pull your leg. Make it no, make it no waste now. Okay. Go to the <laughs> shallow part. Just I, enter I and come out. I heard what I heard.